Uh, we're just starting to scratch the surface of where we think that we can take this. So right now we're tracking um, our you know, 12 to 15,000 loads a week within the, uh, within the U.S. Uh, from our breweries in D.C. East to wholesalers on, on both truck mode and the intermodal mode. Um, where we think we can take this is, um, first off, um, we think that we can track the inbound freight. So um, a problem we have today is a carrier accepts a load and he's supposed to show up today to pick it up and, and for whatever reason he doesn't show up, right? So the question is, well, what happened? Um, what we'd like to leverage is as soon as the carrier accepts the load and says they're going to pick up the load at a certain time, we can actually track that driver coming inbound to our brewery. So then if you're loading trucks at our operations, uh, you can start to plan out your, your future manpower based on how many trucks and how far away those trucks are when those trucks are expected to arrive. So you can start <coughs> to schedule the dock appointments based on when the trucks actually arriving, taking into account weather and traffic, not just that static snapshot of when the carrier thought they would arrive to your operation. Um, we can scale this out to all of our import export activities. Um, we manage um, about a thousand export customers uh, shipping Budweiser, Bud Light, and other products uh, throughout the world. Um, one thing we would love to do is be able to, you know, provide that end customer, that end export customer, the visibility and tracking from when it leaves our brewery facility to when it arrives at, at their location. Uh, the same thing for all of the product that we import, right? All of the, um, you know, amazing beers that we import from Europe and Mexico and, and, and multiple countries throughout the world. Uh, I would love to be able to see, um, you know, what's, what's being shipped to me in real time. Uh, when is that load leaving the brewery in Europe? When is it getting on the vessel? Where's the vessel at? W when does it clear customs in the U.S.? What product is on that load? Uh, what's the age of that product? Um, what was the uh, temperature of that product as it made its way here? Did, you know, was it within quality thresholds? So um, multiple, multiple um, you know, next steps available to us, and it's really exciting to Matt and I and team that, that uh, this is where we're heading because this is going to make our operations much more effective. Um, second piece is we, is we want to look to integrate. So right now, this is still somewhat of a standalone platform. Uh, but we really need to link it into the amazing um, systems we have for inventory management, production planning, truck scheduling, dock appointments at our wholesalers, multiple applications here. Uh, and we think that through a, a, a customer facing portal, uh, we can use that to link all these applications together. So for instance, when we book a load to move from point A to point B, we know that we have a dock appointment at point B at a certain time and we can back into then when it should leave our brewery and we can get that all confirmed. So when the carrier picks it up from our location, he doesn't even need to call the wholesaler to make a dock appointment. It's already booked for him. You will pick it up at this time. You have X amount of time to drive there in a safe manner, taking into hours of service, and then you have a already confirmed appointment to make your delivery to that wholesaler. So just an example of ways we can go there. And then we want to be more proactive, right, with algorithms and predictive, um, you know, um, predictive analytics. Uh, we want to be able to, to, to start to uh, see into the future a little bit more weather, traffic, um, hours of service of the driver. We want to be able to take into account all of the variables there uh, to be able to more accurately predict when that load will actually deliver. So if he picks it up now, um, you know, when will it get to you know, the final wholesaler? And we think with those types of metrics that are available to us already, uh, that you know, with the big data performance that we can leverage here, that we can make that happen.